My name is Gurbaz Shahal, and my friends call me G. I'm the $300 million man. Welcome to my penthouse. I just bought a brand new penthouse that's uh, 3,500 square feet, three bedrooms, three and a half baths. It's on the top floor of a brand new building. First thing you'll see throughout the house, to get used to it, it's my favorite letter in the alphabet, the letter G. You got the famous G bed here with the G pillow. And then you look here. I don't watch that much TV, but when I do, I like watching it bake. An incredible panorama view of the entire bay. And this is kind of like the Art Deco feel. Bam, there it is, bam, bam. Boom, you got a great mirror. I've had all the different luxuries that you want. Gucci, Versace, uh, Mugler, Burberry. I've had the Ferrari, I've had the Lamborghini, I've had the Bentley. I've been able to go everywhere in the world I've wanted to without hesitation. Uh, Vegas is my second home. I love dancing, I love music. I love doing stuff that is sometimes crazy, uh, spur of the moment. I am living the American dream. My parents came to the United States in 1985 from India, and they came there with probably 25 bucks. We were actually living in a one-bedroom apartment uh, with seven people, and we struggled. Our parents worked double shifts. I was forced to mature a lot quicker, and uh, you know that basically made me realize I want to do something big. I want to dream about doing something big. So at 16, I started my first internet advertising company in my bedroom. Being 16 and running a company was very, very uh, unique. One thing that I had to do was gargle my voice a little bit, made a little macho voice out of it, you know, changed my identity a little bit, called myself Gary, and, you know, went to work. My first company shot up to about 35 people. Two years later, I actually sold it for $40 million. Started my uh, second company at 21, and uh, just last October, sold that for $300 million to Yahoo. I'm feeling anxious about hiding my identity. I don't really have a set strategy in figuring out, you know, who I'm going to give money to. But I hope that I'll be able to find the most deserving people that I want to help. 90 bucks. I could do this. I just found out that I'm gonna be at the Tenderloin. It's not the safest part of town. Generally speaking, it's the poorest part.